Okay. This will be an interesting one. Going to go 400, but on the horizontal, we're going to make it less. So we're going to make it 200. And 80 on the horizontal, and vertical will be 400. Can add a little bit of contrast. Let's see what we have to present. We have here, well, let's see what it is. It's a business tie, and I'm going to photocopy this area roughly. So I'm going to make this into something interesting, something more interesting than what the typical businessmen do. You know, businessmen make lots of money, and they wear their ties and their suits, as if to say, fuck you, you're, you're, you, you know, if you're not rich. So it's a real status symbol amongst people who are bosses, um, managers, CEOs, you name it, they wear it. But you don't have to be in the upper management. Even when you're just a little sprat, well, that's what they think you are. When you're not high up, when you're an office worker, you still have to wear a tie. So it's not just for the rich up the rich people in the big high positions it's for the little guys too now that looks interesting i think it's a bit too big so we're going to just shrink make it a little bit less going to make that yeah it's too big so yeah you know any it's a real the tie is like a real part of is a part of being in business it's really something that has become a real symbol. How should I put it? A symbol of, well, work, you could say. It's a symbol of work. Actually, I think I've made this too big. I've got to make it smaller on the horizontal. So we're going to make it 200 on the horizontal. But yeah, it's like that, you know, the rich and all, and all the other people that work in the office. I can't work in an office. I'm not able. My disabilities prevent me from doing it. I have really bad. I have really bad clerical perception skills. I got that tested back in '92, and I got on the IQ scale that it was on. I got three percent, or I got three out of a three, an IQ of three, for the clerical perception piece. So I'm no good with clerical work. Absolutely horrid at it. Now that looks shit. We didn't do that as nicely as the first one. But yeah, we got that in the middle. We're going to make that a bit. Yeah. So yeah, it's like I'm unable to, to do clerical work very well. So yeah, I don't, I don't figure that I'm any good at it, folks. But one day they'll have the technology to fix the problems that I have, the brain damage I had at birth, and I'm going to be, become a CEO and a scientist, so I'll be able to do all this stuff. I'll wear a tie and, and wear a suit, uh, and I'm going to wear it with a certain amount of healthy pride. I'm going to basically make sure that I earn my, uh, earn my right to wear the suit by not being greedy, by being a good steward of my money, to give to give more money away than to keep. That's how I want to run uh, a future business. The company that builds the best photocopiers on earth. So we want to build better equipment and we want to make business better. We've got to give most of the money away to science and, and humanity. We've got to end poverty somehow. Somehow we've got to try 
and get as close as possible to ending poverty. So we don't want people to starve or to or be thirsty. We want everyone to have enough water and enough food and medical treatment and other stuff that we need. Now this is not the best uh, we've got. I'm going to make this a little bit better than that. I've got to move it across. But basically, yeah, we, we've got to make the world a bit more fairer than what we have now. Because what we have now is not acceptable, folks. We can't have keep this dreadful status quo much longer. We've got to be able to... Uh, how should I put it? We've got to care for our fellow human beings, folks, rather than keeping all the earnings to ourselves and, and our families. We've got to basically look after other people. Because there's a lot of people that don't have family, that don't have friends. Many of them are, are going to sleep rough tonight. The homeless people, people sleeping rough are indeed extremely vulnerable. And now this looks shit. That looks shit. Sorry, folks. So they're very vulnerable and they, and they are exposed to the elements. They get thirsty, they get cold. Not so much now because it's now... Uh, Actually, no, climate change makes it less cold. It still gets cold at night, but nowhere near as cold as it normally does. But basically, yeah, it's, it's still winter. I nearly forgot it was winter because it was that warm, and that's another thing we have to solve is climate change. We have to find a scientific way of re reversing the effects of climate change. Now, I think I'm going to enlarge this. We've got to find a way of reversing climate change, otherwise... We don't know if the human race will actually survive with, with the amount of CO2 that's going into the atmosphere and how it's fucking things up big time. So we have to body find solutions to major problems. And we're not going to find solutions to problems if we all just keep fucking the money, you know, keep on fucking around, keeping the money to yourselves. You know, it's not fair. But it'll be good once, once I get the opportunity to build a company that is good for the planet as well. Good for the planet, the human race. And, and even though it's, I'm going to be earning a lot of money, I'm not going to be uh, polluting this planet like these companies currently do. That's not what I want to do, folks. I want to do the right thing. Uh, this is no good. Oh, hang on. X is normal. I thought the yeah the Y is on the 400. Sorry, folks. So I'm going to make this 190. Oh, the, yeah, it's as high as we can get. Hang on. 400 is the biggest. We can't uh, cover up the page. Yeah, this is as big as it gets. So we're going to use this as a master copy so I think that's going to be used as a master copy so we're going to go on the vertical we're going to the horizontal we're going to make it 104 damn this I don't know if this is the right thing I'm going to be doing I didn't want to have to copy off the uh, copy I wanted to be able to print it straight off the tie uh, wondering if we're going to just do a normal kind of a arrangement of this so we're just going to kill off the idea of making a an enlargement we've seen how nice it looks but we're going to just go back and do what we normally do with the tie and just arrange it on the glass <sighs> sorry about the bad camera work I'm trying my best to make this a really uh, good demo so we're just gonna try and make a haphazardish sort of a arrangement we might put the tie into the corner like so for something different so we're just gonna now print that off actually I might pull that up uh, we'll see how it goes we'll see how we See how we go, we'll just pull it up. We're just gonna drop the dock feeder onto it. 
But basically, yeah, the the world has become a very greedy and piggish place and we've got to learn to, to care for our fellow humans as well as the environment. Uh, based, or more than the... Well, we need the environment for humans, right? The, to tell you the truth, the environment doesn't need people, but people need the environment. So therefore, we must look after our environment as much as we can. We must take good care of it. Otherwise, the human race will go extinct. And we don't want that, folks. We just don't want that sort of shit happening to our fucking human race. So this is going to be a rather prolongated demo. I'm going to have to make this one a little bit... I'm going to reduce it back to 100. This is a really difficult subject that I've chosen, folks. So I'm just going to push this further into the... A4 area of the glass but basically uh, the human race needs nature but nature doesn't need the human race because then you know, nature can just go on without us if it had to, if it wanted to if we gave it a chance it would, it would just go on without us we don't need, it doesn't need us it definitely doesn't need us and it probably, to be honest probably doesn't want us it doesn't want us folks because we're fucking polluting the shit out of this place and the photocopier industry doesn't make the equipment last long enough and the toner cartridges in this machine run out too quickly so that's more pollution yeah so there's more pollution being created by making everything throw away and uh, that doesn't last long enough. Uh, wondering where the centre of this job is going to be. But that looks all right. That looks quite cool. This is a really, really long demo we've got ourselves into here, folks. This is, I don't normally make demos that go for this long, but this particular piece has been a difficult piece to work out. What can I do with it? I wanted to do something different by just photocopying the concentrating on the pattern on the tie, just the tie, the main part of the tie. Uh, but now it, it seems I'm just going to go back and just do a normal kind of arrangement with the tie. So, but yeah, it's like that, you know. We need, we need to look after our planet and look after the human race. You know, we've got to basically think for, think for others as well as yourselves. And that's not happening much in this world, I'm afraid. Greed is not good, folks. Let's see how this turns out. But yeah, that's what I want to do when I become CEO and scientist. I want to, when I go to work, to build the photocopiers to make these new uh, sophisticated photocopiers that have AI and, and a good and, and good ecological build. You know, they've got to be easy to recycle at the end of their long lifespan. These photocopiers are going to last 60 years, not five years. And they're going to be designed especially to be recycled at the end of their useful life. But anyway, that looks quite nice. I think now we can call this prolongated demo quits.